Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ken Oster. I am here in uh, Northeast Harbor outside of Acadia National Park. And we're here to do a little painting of a small, vibrant metropolis. I try to put this part of the painting on as thin as I possibly can. And if I put it on too thick, it won't work because I don't sketch first before I paint. I like to just go right into it and start the painting. And if it's not what I want, I want to wi I'll wipe it off. <clears throat> but the, if it is what I want, then I have it on there. And my problem with 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 uh, my problem that I have with with uh, sketching something first is that. Uh, Sometimes the sketches have a, have a real nice spontaneity to them, and that spontaneity doesn't exist when you try to copy that sketch onto a, uh, a canvas, because spontaneity and sketching is passion, and copying the, copying the sketch onto the palette or onto the pa canvas is intellectual. And again, intellectual is more of a rendering and sketching is more passionate. And what we want to do in the painting part or in the drawing part is try to maintain as much passion as we possibly can. What I'm trying to do when I paint brushes, I, I, I like to have the brush lead your eye in the direction that you want the person to go. Uh, if, a, if a street is going away from you, try to get the brush stroke to take your eye down the street. Um, a lot of times I'll tell students to utilize uh, in their mind the idea of a tennis ball and help use the paint as a sculptural tool as well as just filling in color. The uh, oil paints allow your uh, oil paints allow you to create the illusion of sculpting. It has brush stroke to it, so it's always good if you can take the opportunity to put brush stroke into the into your paintings. Too many times artists put too many focal points in their painting. They want to put all the information. They want to develop it as much on the left side as they do the right side. And, and in doing so, the painting ends up not telling the viewer what it was that you really thought was the most important part of the painting. The goal when I set out to start this painting was to create uh, something about this little town that was important to me as a painter. And putting all the information in that existed in the town as I saw it, I realized was not the important part. The most important part of this painting is to take you down the street with the reflection of the light atmosphere, the kind of uh, eclectic storefronts which are not all the same, and to uh, simplify it and make it so that it was something that was easily understood and that your eye could easily go to some place where I wanted you to go. So thanks for coming out and watching a brief demonstration of taking something that's complicated and trying to make it simple. On DVD. To learn more, visit www.streamlineartvideo.com.